Welcome to Cowboys News TV. I'm your host, Dave, and tonight, we have an exciting topic lined up for you. We're diving deep into the world of linebackers, focusing on DeMarvian Overshone and his journey with the Dallas Cowboys. Make sure to stay tuned because we've got some intriguing insights and updates that you won't want to miss. Let's start by recapping Overshone's trajectory so far. Arriving at Dallas as a third-round pick, many of us wondered how he'd fit into the team's lineup. As a former safety-turned-linebacker, Overshone brought a unique skill set to the field. Initially, he was seen as a special team standout, but his potential quickly became evident during training camp and preseason games. Unfortunately, a season-ending injury halted his progress, leaving us all eager to see what 2024 holds for him. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Your support is crucial for us to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Let's build this community together. Now, let's fast forward to 2024. With Dan Quinn out and Mike Zimmer in, there's a lot of speculation about Overshawn's current standing, especially as he recovers from his ACL injury. He's expected to be ready by training camp, but what does that mean for his role in the new defense? One of the most exciting updates came from Overshawn himself during a recent media interaction. Overshawn said, I've definitely gotten bigger since last year. Seeing my future in this league and what was going to be best for my body to be productive on the field meant gaining weight and not just any weight but lean muscle mass. I put on about 12 to 13 pounds of lean mass, going into camp a little bigger, aiming to play around 230 to 233 pounds. This weight gain is significant. Last year, he was listed at 220 pounds, and now he's aiming for 230 to 233 pounds. This puts him in a better position to handle the demands of Mike Zimmer's defense, which historically favors more traditional, robust linebackers. For context, this weight range is similar to what Eric Kendricks played at during his time with the Vikings under Zimmer. What do you think about Overshone's new target weight? Do you think it will help him excel in Zimmer's system? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like this video. Your feedback is important to us. Zimmer's defense is known for its traditional front and robust linebackers, unlike Quinn's more hybrid approach. With Overshone getting bigger, it's perfect timing for the Cowboys' defense, especially with the shift in defensive strategies. Overshone also mentioned that he's preparing to be the weak side linebacker or Will, while Damone Clark is expected to be the strong side linebacker or Sam. This information gives us a glimpse into how the linebacker roles might shape up under Zimmer. What are your thoughts on this potential linebacker lineup? Who do you think will shine the most? Drop your predictions in the comments. We love hearing from you. Now, let's talk about versatility. Linebacker coach Scott McCurley emphasized that roles will be defined during training camp when pads come on. Overshone's weight gain and athleticism make him a strong candidate for various roles, but we'll have to see how things play out. Here's a question for you all. How do you think Overshone's versatility will impact the Cowboys' defense? Share your thoughts and let's get a conversation going in the comments. Even though the Cowboys are shifting to a more traditional 4-3 defense, the reality of modern NFL offenses means we'll see a lot of nickel formations with three wide receivers on the field. This brings up a critical question, who will be the second linebacker alongside Eric Kendricks in these nickel packages? Will it be Clark or Overshone? Who do you think will earn that second spot? Clark or Overshone? Cast your vote in the comments and let's see what Cowboys Nation thinks. Speaking of comments, let's see who's with us tonight. Shout out to Joe, John, Isidro, Gregory, and Delton for joining the live chat. Your participation makes these discussions so much more engaging. Remember, if you're enjoying the show, smash that like button. It really helps us out. Let's touch on another point. Alex asks if Zimmer's system is better against the 49ers offense compared to Quinn's. Statistically, Zimmer's defenses have performed well against Shanahan's schemes, which is a promising sign for the Cowboys. However, it's all about how the personnel fits into this new system. What do you think? 
Will Zimmer's defensive strategies give us an edge against teams like the 49ers? Share your opinions below, and let's discuss. I see some of you mentioning Donovan Wilson. Gregory asked if Wilson should switch to linebacker. While it's an interesting idea, I think Wilson fits perfectly as a safety in Zimmer's defense, similar to Harrison Smith's role with the Vikings. His ability to shoot gaps and blitz makes him a valuable asset in the secondary. Do you agree with keeping Wilson as a safety, or do you think he should switch positions? Let us know in the comments. As we wrap up, it's clear that the Cowboys linebacker situation is one of the most intriguing storylines this offseason. Overshone's weight gain, his potential role, and the overall shift in defensive strategy under Zimmer give us a lot to look forward to. Remember to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Your subscription is crucial for us to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for your support. Now, we're diving deep into the Cowboys linebacker room. One name that stands out is Damon Clark. He's got a bit of an advantage heading into this season, mainly because he's already proven himself on the field for the Cowboys. The coaching staff, especially linebacker coach Scott McCurley, has expressed confidence in Clark's versatility and football IQ. Clark's experience and ability to play multiple positions make him a valuable asset. Remember, last season, when everyone else went down, it was Clark who stepped up. Not only was he calling the defense, but he was also guiding rookie Marquise Bell, ensuring the team stayed on track. What do you think, Cowboys fans? Do you see Damon Clark as a key player this season? Let us know in the comments. Also, vote in our poll, who do you think will be the standout linebacker this year? Now, let's talk about DeMarvian Overshone. While Clark has the upper hand for now, Overshone is an exciting prospect. If he can tap into his potential and secure those linebacker snaps when the Cowboys play safety nickel, it'll be a massive achievement. Overshone's athleticism, range, and speed are qualities that can't be ignored. Imagine the dynamic duo of Eric Kendricks and Overshawn on the field. Kendricks brings intelligence and experience, while Overshawn adds athleticism and youthful energy. This combination could be lethal for our opponents. How do you feel about Overshawn's potential impact this season? Drop your thoughts in the comments and participate in our survey about which linebacker pairing excites you the most. Speaking of Marquise Bell, it's important to consider his role in 2024. While he's likely a backup for now, don't be surprised if he steps up and starts making significant contributions. Bell's high football IQ impressed the coaches during the draft process, and it's something the Cowboys value highly, especially in their linebackers. Bell's ability to play multiple positions, combined with his impressive range and speed, makes him a player to watch. He might not start immediately, but he's definitely one for the future. What are your expectations for Marquise Bell this season? Do you think he'll become a starter sooner than expected? Share your predictions in the comments below. Despite the excitement around our linebackers, there are still concerns. We're placing a lot of hope in Overshone and Clark, but what if injuries hit? And what about Kendrick's durability given his age? These are valid questions that the coaching staff will need to address. We also need to consider the depth in our defensive back room. With players like Malik Hooker, Donovan Wilson, and Marquise Bell showing potential, it's going to be interesting to see how they fit everyone in. Could we see some position changes, or will some players simply have to wait their turn? Who do you think should be the starting safeties and linebackers? Should any of our defensive backs switch positions to get more playing time? Let's discuss in the comments. Shifting gears a bit, let's talk about our defensive tackle position. The departure of Jonathan Hankins has left some big shoes to fill. While there's optimism around 7th round pick Justin Rogers, it's a risky bet. Hankins played a significant role last season, and expecting a rookie to fill that void is a gamble. We're also banking on Motsi Smith to take a big step forward. He's currently not practicing, and that's a concern. The Cowboys want to go younger, but it has to be balanced with proven performance. What's your take on our defensive tackle situation? 
Do you think Justin Rogers can step up, or should the Cowboys have kept Hankins? Share your thoughts below. Overall, the Cowboys linebacker room feels stronger than last year, but there are still risks involved. We're excited to see how Clark, Overshawn, and Bell perform and whether they can live up to the high expectations. The key will be staying healthy and proving their worth on the field. Do you agree that our linebacker room is better this year? What are your predictions for the upcoming season? Let's get the conversation going in the comments. Thanks for tuning in to Cowboys News TV. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Your support helps us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Keep the discussion going in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Go Cowboys!